understand the power and significance of these, you're going to uh, love it. And I'm going to show you how to set them up, uh, where they're located. Now, this is kind of an updated video because uh, a little bit of uh, the Facebook back office has changed. So I'm going to I may have to shrink myself, uh, my you know, what you're seeing in my face here uh, slightly. But I thought it would be a little more interactive for you to see me uh, as I go through this. So what you do is you go into your back office of your ads manager, uh, like I've shown you in the other videos. OK, and on the left hand side is where the changes have happened. You're going to see these things look a little different than maybe on some of the other videos. But what there's a little bunch of dots here that used to be those lines at the top. And what you want to do is you want to click on that. And I am going to shrink myself so I can make sure you see everything. Um, you'll see that these things come up automatically that you can look at. These are the shortcuts. But then if you scroll, you're going to see there's a lot of other things that they have now put in this one area. OK, so there's a lot of different things that were on those three lines and so on. Now, to create custom audiences um, and what a custom audience means is it's a very dialed in targeted group of people that you can send your ads directly to. OK, as an example, when you add a pixel to your website, this is where you come to create that audience to target people specifically who went to that web page or they viewed a blog post or you wanted to um, uh, just create something along those lines. Or what I like to do is I like to do people who have viewed my videos or even people who've engaged with my Facebook page to begin with. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to see you see the shortcuts and we're going to click on audiences. OK, I'm already in my account. Um, if you have more than one account, occasionally you will. If you have uh, stuff already, this this is kind of the def default right here automatically because I'm in an account that I have not yet set up um, one of these things. OK, so if you see here, it says create custom audience. So you got custom audiences look-alike audiences and saved audience, okay? And if I scroll down, there might be one under there, but I don't think it is, okay. So what we're gonna talk about is creating a custom audience. So the custom audience looks something just like this. When you click on it, it's gonna give you these options of the sources of where these audience uh, members have triggered that they've looked at it, okay? So you've got your website, you got customer lists, which means you uploaded an email list or offline activity. From Facebook, you can create custom audiences based on videos, your Instagram accounts, lead forms, face, your Facebook page, and so on. Okay, so let's start with the, the with the first one, which is website. Okay, and I'm going to show you this is very very simple to do. So right here we got a website, and I when I click on that, it's going to now pull up uh, this option. Okay, and it's it's going to allow me to create the custom audience, add people to my specific audience. Now, here's the thing is right here. It says include people who meet any of the following criteria. Anybody that's ever visited my uh, uh, all my websites. So if I have my pixel on 20 different websites, right, if I have them on there, um, it'll uh, categorize all these. And I do have a pixel for that in one of my things where it's everybody goes on it. Just, think, you know, that way I build this huge audience that's very, very broad. All right. But I'm going to show you that if you click on the word any or all, OK, and if you mouse over, you can see you got these little icons that will give you some details. So what I like to do is any website visit, all website visitors, if you click on that, people who visited specific web pages. So as an example, if I wanted them to, if I click on this and let's say I go to MikeHealyTraining.com, which is my website, and I'm going to pixel the people that were on my book. Right. I've shown this in a couple of the videos. This is my book. I think that's the new cover I have on here. But you see that I have this URL right here. So it says MikeHealyTraining.com forward slash book. If I highlight this and copy it, what I will do <clears throat> is I will go here and I'm going to make an audience of people that specifically hit this page. Now, you can go up to 180 days for the length of the time that someone had visited that Web page that you can send them an ad specifically. So the purpose of this specific audience is I can create a custom audience that if somebody goes to that web page and let's say does not opt in, then I could put them on the on a retargeting uh, list, which is what the audience would be. Okay. So what I do here 
is, is you see how it says contains. So you could actually put words in here if you want, but I like to sometimes I'll, I'll make equals, okay? Because I want to be really specific and then I will paste that there like that and you see that's the actual link, okay? Now the audience might be too small. I'm going to ignore that right now. Um, I'll cross that out. But then what I would do is I would name my audience. So I would name my audience MLM book, okay? That I know that this... And based on what I had, if I wanted it a 30 day audience, because sometimes I'll make um, a an audience on the same page for 30 days or two days or whatever. So so I a lot of times if I want to hit somebody up immediately, if I know they went to that page because I'm running an ad and I want to retarget them with another ad, uh, I might put a one day audience together. So as soon as they hit that, the next time they're on Facebook, they're going to see my ad again, which is kind of cool. But all I would have to do is I type in MLM book. I've got everything here. That's what is going to happen. And I click create audience by creating the audience. It's now going to add people to that list automatically as people on Facebook visit that web page. If they are part of Facebook, that kind of thing, it will trigger a pixel or it'll, it'll trigger it'll fire what they call it, we'll call it. And then it goes on that list. So eventually my list might have a few hundred or a few thousand people that have accumulated and now I have an audience back there that I can run a specific dialed in targeted ad. So this was this was basically us creating you and I creating a custom audience from people who had just visited one specific Web page. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close that out and I'm going to show you a different one. OK, we're going to create a custom audience. And most of the time, one of the easiest things that you should do to create an immediate audience that you can retarget quickly is your Facebook page. So what I would do is I've created maybe a web page because if you don't have web pages, then it's not really, you know, if you don't have any like uh, click funnels, accounts, lead pages, uh, whatever those other ones are out there. Uh, if you don't have a website that you've got a pixel on, then this doesn't mean anything to you. So one of the easiest things that you can do is create a Facebook page, which should be your Facebook page. Now what you do, is you can have include people who meet any of the following criteria or all just I usually use any and then here it will give you the pages that you manage and then you click on that and it will list all the pages so I might go down here and I found my Mike Healy page and I create that right so I click on that so now it's it's going to make an audience of anybody who's done this now here's the thing it says right here it says everyone who anyone I'm sorry everyone who engaged with your page Meaning if they went there, they looked at a video, they liked the page, they commented or anything like that in the past year, 365 days from the, to the uh, from the time that they visited. OK, if I click on the drop down arrow, you can see that it will also give you other uh, options. OK, anyone who visited my page, which maybe means that they just visited, but they didn't do anything. People who engage with a post or an ad, I can click on there and be a little more granular, dial it in. People who clicked any call to action button. So if I've ever run ads before and I wanted a specific um, ad that I was going to run to people I knew had already clicked on some of my call to actions, this is the perfect one right here. But I'm going to just so you can kind of figure out where your what your target market is. But right here, the easiest one to give you some wins right out in the put some wins in the column real quick is everyone who engaged with your page over the last year. I just like to collect them on for a period of time. And then I would just put Mike Ely, you know, business page. Right. And then when I create the audience now, it will once I click create the audience, I'll just do it right now. You'll see that it's going to take a little bit of time for it to populate. So it'll it'll start right here. You see this, it says populating. And then what will happen is it'll be ready to go uh, very, very quickly. And it'll have that now if at the same time. So once so now this back office just changed because I've now got one audience in there. OK, now, if you want, you can also click on these. If I was done with this by highlighting it, you see how I clicked it. All these things came up. I can edit a specific uh, pixel. So if maybe I wanted to extend a pixel from 365 days or maybe 180 days, you can go in and, and change things up. But let's say I just wanted to delete this pixel. Uh, because I'm not using it or I've got 50 in here and I'm now getting a little confused when I'm trying to run ads. You go in there and delete them and you're good to go. OK, now we're going to go create another custom audience, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on it. So now once you've gotten here, 
you clicked on business tools and you came into here, this is what it's going to look like now. When I click create custom audience, I'm going to click on the top one, custom audience. Okay. And I'm going to go back. So we're off, we're here to this, this area. The other thing that I do like that I think is really cool are video uh, retargeting uh, lists because I do a lot of video. I do, I do video Facebook lives and things like that. And if I get engagement on that, I know these people are relevant to the information that I've been putting out there that I would like to get in front of again. So what I'll do is I'll click on video and maybe let me see here. I might have to refresh this page. Let me just refresh this page real quick because sometimes it will uh, time out custom audience video. And there we go. Okay. So, so now it looks a little different. Okay. Now here's where, what we do is it says here, choose a content content type. If I click browse, here are my options. People who viewed at least three seconds of your video. And I typically don't use this one, even though it's, it can make your list big, but because there's a lot of people that have never turned off the video automatically playing, you know, scroll option on their cell phone. So it's, if they just scroll and it stops there, it counts as a view. So I don't think that's a relevant one. I typically either go after the 10 second views, which means somebody took 10 seconds to view it, or you can see these. Now, obviously the, 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 the you know, the higher, somebody who watched 95% of my video is a really targeted market that you would be looking to get. But let's say 10 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna click on 10 seconds. In the past 365 days uh, is what the time frame is. But here's the thing is I wanna, I wanna now choose the video or group of videos that they have viewed to, to put together in this audience. So I'll click on choose videos and you'll see that I have all these different videos and right there, there's, there's only a handful, but then you see this every time you click it, it opens up the new videos. Now what I'm doing is I'm on a different page. So I would go to my Facebook page cause I want to go to the group page that I have and there you see my face. <clears throat> so this is this one right here was a video I did. So I might want to add that to my audience, that to my audience, that to my audience. I think you can only put about 30 videos in here at a time. So if you ever click on it, it says too many videos, just delete the ones that have a lower amount. Um, but like right here, like I ran this ad on lead generation right here, you see there's 53,000 views. So if I wanted to retarget those specific people who watched that video, all I would have to do is click on just this one. It's populated here. I click confirm and then I've got that done and I would name this uh, lead ad video viewers. Looks like that. So I know that this is my lead ad of people who viewed this and let's say I say in 10 seconds. So when I create this custom audience, when I go to make my ad, I can click custom audience and this specific group of people will now populate. I click on it and my the new ad that I may be running to target these specific people will be the one that pops up. So I click create audience just like that. And now it's going to take a few minutes to do that, but it's going to start um, it's going to start pulling. It's going to start going through the algorithms and pulling them all those people that have ever viewed that. And that audience should get up to into a few thousand people, which will then allow me to go in, create an ad and target those people. OK, now, one other thing that I'm going to show you real quick, because I know this video is a little longer than uh, what it was previously. But there's some cool stuff back here that you need to know on the create, create custom uh, audience here is here is this. Let's say you've got custom audience lookalike and special ad audience. I'm going to show you this one right here, lookalike audience. So let's say as an example, you wanted, you had a good results from an audience, like one of your pixels created a big audience of your people that were on your specific, that, in, that engaged and interacted with your fan page. You would love to go after more people or more people that have the same attributes or the target market or the avatar of those type of people to put on a new list. And what's cool about a lookalike audience is you can actually take an existing audience. So if I clicked on that, it's going to give me different things that I have on here. So as an example, I might put in people for uh, who is Mike Keeley, which was one of my pages that I had, right? 
and I put that in here, what it's going to allow, or I can create a new source of the custom audience. Um, you can do different things, but this is a little more, more advanced, but I would, what happens is if I had a pixel of my other web page that had built up to a few thousand, what I would then do is I would want Facebook to find me people that are almost identical to those attributes, right? So by putting that in there, adding some information, collect a study audience location by browsing, and I usually leave it down here, it's gonna create me a look of like look-alike audience actually right around two million people, usually between one and two million people that have a lot of the things in common that the original audience had. So if I had, let's go look at our audiences real quick and you'll, this will make sense. If I make this audience, and let's say there's 5,000 people that eventually populate on here is this. So that's cool. What I would do is create a lookalike audience from this pixel, this, this, this actually uh, custom audience that would find those people similar. So now I would kind of start my ad campaign from the very beginning, targeting those people that have probably the most in common with my group, which could would create that extra big, big audience, okay? So that's kind of the cool thing. So I know this video went a little longer, but custom audiences are really cool because that this, the other thing that I do with custom audiences to save, and don't, you know, this is important, to save on um, my ad spend is I also create custom audiences to exclude people of seeing an ad, okay? So, so here's the thing is in my create custom audience, when I create a custom audience, you see customer list. If I click on this, uh, I actually have to, uh, this is a, a different account, but if I had a uh, on, uh, let's just go to a uh, custom audience here, but let's say they, um, they've done something on here and I, they went to, uh, let's say I didn't want to advertise to people that were on a specific list on my Instagram account. So, because I'm maybe only running an ad to Facebook or whatever. If I click on here, what I can do is create an audience. So then when I go in and make my ad, I exclude those people. So they're not seeing the ad again, because I wouldn't want to run the same type of ad again and advertise to those people that have already opted in. It's a waste of money, okay? Because it'll charge you and that kind of thing. So by creating an audience that I'm targeting, so I might target my lookalike audience, but then everybody that opted into my, uh, you know, my book page, like if I would make, if I would have made that book pixel, I uh, don't want those people to see that ad. I could put that in exclusion. So now you're even really saving on your, uh, your amount you're spending, and it's a really, really great way to create a different audiences that you can do it. So in most cases, my favorite way to use these is when I create, like, if somebody opts in to one of my maybe lead ads or something like that, when they've opted into a lead ad, what I then do is exclude those people. If I'm running a new ad targeting, I don't want the same people seeing that ad. So I add exclude people who have already opted in. So the people who did take the action I wanted are no longer going to see the ad to get them to take that action, which makes it a lot more sense, which makes it a lot easier. So anyhow, this is a, this is a little detailed but custom audiences can make you a ton of money because if or, or uh, give you a ton of better results, hopefully in making you money um, because you can target people much, much more sniper friendly, I guess you could say, going after the right audiences at the right time. And it builds lists for you. The power of this is with the pixels and on Google, they call them tags and stuff like that, is it allows you to basically create lists, almost opt-ins, without them actually opting in because it's already just the pixel tags them and, and you've got these opt-in lists without actually having them opt in. So it's pretty powerful stuff. So anyhow, that's a, a long detailed one on custom audiences. Hopefully you understood this and uh, thanks. And if you've got any questions, reach out to me. Thanks.